Okay, hey guys, how you doing? I am Faja. We're still here. This is going to be Windows Movie Maker Part 2. Uh, we're going to simply pick up where we left off, and if you have not watched Windows Movie Maker Part 1, please go do so now. It will help you understand this one. For those of you that watched the first one, uh, here we go. You'll know this is exactly where we left off. Just to recap, we basically took a 25 point three five second clip and we uh, edged it and trimmed it to get it down to thirteen point four seven all right okay so that's one little uh, way uh, one little section of the clip and uh, since you you going to have more than one clip in your um, in your um, your video montage that you're doing or uh, your game battles capture footage or your MLG capture footage or whatever it is that you're putting up uh, we need to go ahead and bring in our second clip so again we're going to go up here to uh, import media and uh, we're going to go to clip 2 of high rise snipe and clip import so here we go now uh, what we're going to do now is we're starting with our raw footage as you can see this footage is uh, 40 point zero forty point zero six seconds long it is our raw footage that's what this up here we got 25 seconds and we got 40 seconds we've already worked on the 25 seconds we've gotten it down to 1347 but now here's where you want to be careful when you start splitting clips down here don't <laughs> delete this one okay because if not you're gonna have to fucking do it all over again alright so we're gonna go ahead and drag our media down here to this slot and we're going to let it seep in and we're just going to go up here to the preview window and we're going to um, start to take a look at it now note that you are now on your storyboard so this clip time starts at 13.5 and ends at 53.53 and you're like whoa what the fuck up here it says 0 to 40 that's because this is your storyboard the um, this uh, um, clip down here occupies the first 13 or 14 seconds of this video so we're going to click on this we're going to use our marker scrubber to run backwards and forth through it real fast um, so let's just go ahead and hit play and we're going to go in here and we're going to look at what we want to see and what we want to get remember you do this to take scenes out of you being dead uh, or your buddy plan that you don't want people to see on your montage and so we're approaching some good footage okay here we got beast running out and boom did he get the shot yes okay he got the shot now remember the three second rule you want to leave a buffer on the front of the scene and a buffer on the rear of the scene of about three seconds because your transitions that we're going to look at in this video hopefully will eat up footage okay in other words if you if you if I simply cut this clip right here you would never be able to see the shot because the transition would cover it up transitions are are uh, piece or effects that you put between two clips that uh, uh, sort of changes the storyline keeps them from running together so what we're going to do is we're going to notice our timeline right here is at 34.0 seconds so I know there's about a second on there so I'm going to ease this thing back till you got the shot now we're at 33.3 .3. so I'm just going to ease it back a little bit to about 30 something alright we're at about 30.65 now I'm going to hit split and I want you to watch what happens over here split bam okay this is the first half of the footage that we don't want so we're going to right click on it and we're going to hit remove this should be our clip right here that we just cut so we're going to hit play and one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand boom all right there's that's a good cut so we're going to let this run through <clears throat> till we get the shot and for those of you watching this is i'm a beast dude this is my son this is not me uh, we're going to come in here. Okay, he almost got that one. All right, and then he died. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to scrub this back here just a little bit. All right, he's right here. Let's just take it back to about right here. Okay, and we're going to go, if you'll notice our timeline, we're at uh, 30.51 of 36 seconds. So we're just going to move it up to about hmm, 33 
take it up to about 33 right there so you can see the the kill and then we're going to stop it and we're going to split it and now be careful don't edit the wrong thing or remove the wrong thing this clip right here starts with that and it shows him going over here and being killed that's not what we want so we're going to right click and we're going to hit remove now we're on our storyboard so we've got uh, 33 seconds and uh, 33.27 seconds of video and that is comprised of this clip <clears throat> starting at 13.5 and running to 33.27 and this one starting at 0 and running to the 13 mark you can see it right down here watch in this area the little hover box see how it pops up high rise clip 1 through 3 snap in a row duration 13 minutes 47 seconds alright so now we got our movies so here's what we're going to do. Now we've got our video. Step two of this process is the editing, and that's what we're already on. So now we're going to move down from our imported media, and we're going to go to our effects. Now these effects, the nice thing about them is, is when you click on them, they show up over here on the right, and you can hit play. The red flower we see now would be this clip down here. The yellow flower that's going to appear would be this clip right here, and this shows what it does. So... Um, I, I take that back these are just effects so for example you could add that effect to this clip and it would ripple let's just go ahead and, and edit so let's go to um, uh, add the storyboard okay now you notice a little star popped up down here uh, there's no star over here well there's one here but it's not highlighted if you click on the ripple it will tell you everything the effects that you have on that so let's just go ahead and click on this and hit play see how it has the ripple on there okay you're like holy shit that looks dumb as hell I don't want that on there outstanding you come over here and you right click on the star you go remove effect and guess what now we're right back where we started um, these effects right here are okay <clears throat> they can be a bit complicated uh, but normally they're done for pictures or just whatever gay ass films I don't know I ain't doing none of shit on mine alright so we're gonna move on down the transitions transitions are the important stuff transitions go in these boxes right here and if you click on them again you will see the red flower being the first clip and the yellow flower being the next clip and this is how they would transition together you can click on any of these and hit play and they'll tell you exactly what you want to do now Windows uh, Movie Maker is free <clears throat> it is limited uh, but it has some damn nice transitions in it. I mean, there's a whole shitload of them up here. Uh, this one right here is one of my favorites. Um, you just hit it like this, and it goes like that. So since it's one of my favorites, <clears throat> we're going to go down here. going to put it right there. And we're going to move the scrubber back a little bit and watch what it does to our two clips. Nice little transition, huh? You want to see it again? I like it. Okay, so we're going to leave that one in there. Okay, we're at eight and a half minutes now, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and jump off here, and we're going to create uh, editing with Windows Movie Maker Part 3, and that's where we will add the titles to this video and actually create it. So uh, I am Faja signing out. Should be a link approaching at the bottom of the video here in just a second, and it's going to take you... <coughs> to the third installment, third and final installment of editing with Windows Movie Maker. See you on this side. Bye.